somewhere between the executive suite and the word processing center. Between the upper level managers and the administrative assistants, there are a group of people called professionals. Now everyone in the office deals with information. Some keyboard it, some process it, and some use it to develop plans and business tracks. The professionals are people whose main concern is with the content of information. What it should say, how should it be said, what's the format, to whom should it be directed. The content, the information itself, comes from any number of sources. It can be as close as a file drawer, or it could arrive in the mail from across the country. It might come from forms, from computers, from other people, and from their own heads. Their job is to bring information together and sort it out, rearrange it for some specific purpose. The result of their efforts can range from this, to this, to that. Okay, so we know what the professionals do. What else do we know about them? Well, their average earnings range from $2,000 up to about $5,000 a month. Much of their work tends to come in spurts, and they experience periods of intense act working under the pressure of looming deadlines and crash schedules. Professionals may have typing skills. Many do not. And while all of them could benefit from some type of automated system for getting their work done, few, if any, can take the time away from their jobs required to master some complicated piece of office equipment. Finally, professionals as a group represent a significant cost factor. They can account for up to 80% of total office costs. Yet, until now, the thrust of office automation has been in the clerical area, which usually represents no more than 15% of the total costs. For that reason, professionals have become a highly visible target for productivity improvement. To better illustrate the opportunity, consider briefly how a not untypical professional works. The first step is to gather the basic information, then sort through it and begin to assemble the report. Maybe other people are called on to add their input. Once the input is together, it's formatted and typed. Then copies are made for distribution. The challenge of office automation is to find a means of eliminating the time-consuming, cumbersome, and unproductive mechanics of dealing with information, and free the professionals to focus almost totally on the function of coping with content. That challenge demands a system that will automate the work experience in such a way that even on first contact, the machine will appear to be as familiar, friendly, and as simple to cope with as, well, as the top of a desk. And that's exactly what the Xerox Professional Workstation is. Familiar, friendly, and simple to use. On the screen, you'll find representations of familiar office objects which can perform the same functions as those elements they depict. By doing no more than operating this unique pointing device, which we call the mouse and depressing the appropriate key. You can pull out a folder, open it, and select a document. Another click, and you can put it on the desktop. Next, you might pull some information from your inbox. Out, and look at it.
might find that your report requires you to move a section of one document onto another, creating, in effect, a new page of information. It's at this point that the old way of working and the new Xerox system part company. Even before the paste dries on this, the professional at the workstation can send the finished document to the printer via Ethernet. Or place it in the out basket for millisecond distribution over the network. Done. Well, almost. Now, add to the inherent capabilities of the workstation even the most fundamental typing skills, and professionals can do everything they've always done, and a whole lot more. To appreciate the power and simplicity of this new system, let's take a look at some typical work situations. He's been working on a training manual, and like any professional, is concerned with the final appearance. With conventional systems, the most he could ask for is a cleanly formatted page, about like what you see here. With the Xerox system, he can, on demand, call up a special property sheet, and with just a touch of the mouse, alter the look of the document to suit his particular needs and tastes. Result? A finished document with a print shop quality look. And something else. Here. What you see is what you get. There's no other system today that allows you to see an exact representation of the final document. Another situation. His training manual requires both the insertion of charts as well as some grammatical equations. One of the things I like about the professional workstation is that it allows me to more effectively communicate with my documents. For instance, not only can I put in fonts and typefaces of various kinds, but I can embed graphics and technical equations as well. For instance, to put in a graphics illustration to a document, I select the place in the document that I want to put the graphics frame, ask for the blank canvas in which to put the graphics illustration, stretch it out to the desired size, and then open another document that contains transfers that are little parts of graphics illustrations, like this, and then copy things from the transfer document into the target document, thus building up my illustration. For instance, I can copy a bar chart up into this upper document. And then by asking for the properties of that bar chart, I can fill in the various data values. In this way, I'll type in these four bars. I can also affect the graphical properties of the bar by switching to another part of the property sheet. Now you see in just a few keystrokes, I've been able to construct a fairly professional looking bar chart while being able to concentrate on the communicating aspects of the bar chart and not upon how to draw the individual lines with a straight edge or with pencil or pen. In a similar way, I can create a frame that would contain an equation, stretch it out to its desired size, and simply begin typing. Now, when I want a special equation symbol like a summation, the system tells me that if I hold down the keyboard key and type S for summation, I get the summation in its proper form, prompting me for the lower limit. Type in the lower limit and continue through the equation, simply typing. You notice that at every keystroke, the equation is correctly typeset, and I've been spared the details of changing typefaces and positioning of the individual symbols. In this way, I can compose a professional-looking document while keeping my attention on the actual communicating aspects of it. Another activity typical of the professional is records management. Her job is to develop reports and analyses based on sales data, which she accesses in a central computer via Ethernet.
I have thousands of records of sales data, including salespeople's names, the products they've placed, and the values of those products. And I need to be able to look at the data in various ways, sorting it by total value, for example, or filtering out the sales of specific products. And I can do this quite easily. Let's just ask the system to change the sort order so it reorganizes things and I can see how the total values look. Or I can filter out all of the sales of the professional workstation, for example, see how many units have been placed in customers' offices. Like all professionals, his primary concern is with the content of his work. He can't afford to let it bog him down in operational mechanics, and this one won't. However, it is reasonable and human to expect that from time to time, professionals are going to need help in performing a particular function. We believe getting that help should be no more than a click away. Very often, while using the system, preparing a document, there may be a special capability that I've forgotten how to use or I uh, haven't used for a long time, and I need help. By simply pressing one key, I get displayed a menu of the features that, or the capabilities that the system has. I select the capability for which I have questions, I then follow the instructions that are written, enter the change, and then continue working on my document. Translation. This Xerox system has an international dimension, which permits the professional to work across many different languages even one as complicated as Japanese. You might say that Xerox has made me multilingual. The Xerox Professional Workstation, as familiar as a desktop, as flexible as the task and office environment demand it to be, and as simple to use as ordinary office tools. Automation for the professional. The next logical step in expanding the Xerox 8000 network systems.